Break to Rebuild was actually born in ruins. It was May 2002, uh, just after the occupation of Kyiv region. Uh, we started to help um, owners of damaged houses in Bucherpin, Borodyanka and like other small cities around Kyiv that were uh, damaged by full-scale invasion of Rus Russian Federation. Uh, we started to help them with fast recovery. Uh, for people to continue to live in their houses. Uh, before some repairment work, you need to clean the rubble that, that is left. You need to clean the ashes. So we started, we collected our like friends of our friends and like we called it Taloka. People who need help fill out the Google form. We select location, we found volunteer, then we arrange with the driver, so then we can get to location. We board a bus and go to the location. Uh, fix roof, uh, windows and door, build temporary shelters. Uh, we now have coordination to coordinate work in uh, our location. Their two incredible girls coordinate the most massive talks. Their cute support and bring joy to lives uh, of our volunteers in the locate. When we start, we have only eight volunteers in our first location. Uh, now uh, we have more 2,000 volunteers. So that our volunteers are not only volunteers, but also a big family. We always organize Eastern events for them, sleepovers, vechernitsi, vertab, uh, dating auction, and much more. It's like a small organized event where you gathering and go to some house and you just make the clean work and you taking off all that uh, like stuff that is left uh, after the missile, for example, hits, had hit that house. And uh, Tolokas were becoming bigger because there, there are a lot of people, volunteers, who wanted to help uh, like this, uh, the owners of damaged houses. For, for now, like in 2002, we were able to help uh, almost 400 families. In the beginning, it was mostly volunteer initiative. And we officially registered uh, Brave Foundation in December of 2002. The main directions of this foundation is uh, providing assistance for reconstruction for the occupied territories, uh, for the private houses and social institutions as schools, uh, hospitals, kindergartens and shelters. Uh, we are still clearing uh, the ruins. Uh, we are helping people with winterization and like small repairments and also we are starting to rebuilding uh, the facilities from the scratch. Also, we are continuing to uh, develop our brave community. It's like a uh, like community of volunteers that are willing to uh, provide their assistance for rebuilding of Ukraine. And with this network, we are going to uh, scale on other regions. Uh, like Kharkivska, Khersonska, Chernigivska, Mykolaivska, uh, where also there are a lot of people who need help and our assistance in reconstruction and rebuilding and repairment of their damaged houses. And uh, we're also now working on launching new projects uh, about anti-corruption monitoring of uh, rebuilding in Ukraine and also about researches. So the main idea of Brave Foundation and like Brave to Rebuild is to provide assistance uh, for the rebuilding and repairment in the occupied territories by consolidating uh, eff efforts of uh, Ukrainian organizations, Ukrainian volunteers, Ukrainian business, and also our international uh, like partners and funds, like to in this uh, cooperation uh, to build a new Ukraine with uh, new senses and you know, new future. Uh, my first volunteering event was at the October of uh, past year. Uh, it was a collaboration event uh, between uh, my university student council and uh, Brave to Rebuild organization. So university student council uh, found about 50 interested students that wants to work, uh, organized the bus and transfer 
And after that, we all went uh, to the Gorenka, uh, to three different locations and uh, worked all the day. A little bit later, I know about uh, Brave to Rebuild organization in general. Uh, I decided that it is very interesting for me and uh, joined uh, next event uh, the next week. Uh, we have a lot of volunteer activities in our organization every weekdays and weekends. Uh, volunteers go to cities and villages, uh, mainly focused in the uh, Kiev and Bucha region. Uh, it's Bucha, Hostomel, Irpin and uh, nearby cities and villages. Uh, additionally to debris clearing, uh, we have a uh, charity activities, uh, we collect and distribute humanitarian aid uh, for early, recently deoccupied territories. Uh, also, we have a branch of the project that is called uh, Brave Bicycles. Uh, we receive uh, used bicycles from the Europe, uh, we repair them and then send to recently deoccupied territories. Uh, for using in public needs. Uh, we repair those bu buildings and uh, help them at least survive the winter. Uh, and at most, uh, we want to return them uh, to normal life. Uh, first re reason and the main reason is uh, I want to help people uh, that was affected by Russian invasion. I know that uh, it's not their fault that their house was destroyed and uh, people were affected. Uh, I can help them uh, by uh, rebuilding their house. Uh, we do it together in great company. Uh, so I think it's a great way to help people. Uh, the second reason is uh, that volunteers community uh, is just a great community. Uh, each of the volunteers is very special and very interesting people. I am very glad to be a part of this community. You can support our organization by making donations. It will help us to buy building materials, to buy building tools and to organize transfer for the volunteers. Be brave to rebuild Ukraine with us.